the 2009 Napier shootings occurred on 7 May 2009 in Napier, New Zealand. At around 9.30 a.m., Jan Molinar fired on New Zealand police officers executing a routine cannabis search warrant at his house at 41 Chaus, a road killing senior constable Lentz Nee and seriously injuring senior constables Bruce Miller and Grant Diver. A neighbor attempting to assist the police was also shot. Over 100 police, including armed defenders squad and special tactics group members, were brought into cordon and contain the gunman who was identified as a former territorial soldier. With the assistance of two New Zealand Army NZLAVs, they were successful at about 5 p.m. on 8 May. At around midday on 9 May police found the gunman dead inside the master bedroom of the house. Jan Molinar, Jan Molinar, 51, was born of Nati Kahung Anu extraction and grew up in Napier, where he went to Nelson Park Primary School, Napier Intermediate School and William Colenso College. In the 1980s he spent six years in the Territorial Armoured Corps of the Hawke's Bay and Wellington Regiment. Molinar is said to have been a loner, and to have missed his brother, who had killed himself having experimented with the drug methamphetamine. Timeline Senior constables Snee, Miller and Diver attended an address in Napier during a routine cannabis investigation, and occupant of the house fired shots at the policemen, killing Snee and wounding Miller and Diver. A neighbor was also shot when he tried to intervene. Diver sheltered behind a neighboring house where he was able to phone for backup. Armed defenders members responded quickly, with the aid of two members of the public they pulled Miller to safety. Armed officers also retrieved the injured civilian, Leonard Holmwood. The officers were commended for their bravery at rescuing their comrades by Prime Minister John Key. Key also praised the police for their actions over the course of the Napier siege. Sacred Heart School, Nelson Park School, Napier Central School, Napier Intermediate and Napier Girls High School were all on lockdown for Thursday, and Nelson Park School, Napier Central School and Napier Intermediate were shut on Friday. Thursday 7 May 9.30 a.m., Senior Constables Lentzny, Bruce Miller and Grant Diver arrive at the home of Jan Molinar to serve a cannabis search warrant. Snee is shot dead, and the two other officers and a civilian are shot and wounded. 9.40 a.m. Police cordon off the surrounding area and evacuate local residents. 10 a.m. The injured officers Bruce Miller and Grant Diver are taken to hospital. Police fail to recover Snee's body after being shot at by the gunman. 11.03 a.m. Police announced that police can confirm that three police officers have been involved in a shooting incident in Napier this morning. Two police officers have been injured and are in hospital. A third officer is unaccounted for at this stage. 12.25 p.m. More shots are fired. Police talk to Molinar through a loud hailer after which more shots are fired. 7.15 p.m. A police website media release announced police have been unable at this point to extricate senior constable Snee. 8.05 p.m. The special tactics group arrives aboard a Unimog. Friday 8 May 4.35 p.m. Two of the Army's light armored vehicles, followed by a police car with officers and a police dog inside, enter the cordoned area. 5 p.m. The body of Leonard's knee was retrieved by police. Saturday 9 May 3.30 a.m., a volley of shots in a large explosion are heard. Police did not confirm where the shots came from. It was speculated that police detonated an explosive device against the house's garage door. 12 p.m. Police discover the body of shooter Jan Molinar in the first-floor master bedroom. Len Snee, Leonard Len Snee is the 29th member of the New Zealand police killed in the line of duty. A long-serving officer who was well known to the local community, Snee was a member of the Armed Defenders Squad and worked on drugs cases. 
In 1996, he was involved in the manhunt for Constable Glenn McKibben's murderer Terence Thompson in Flaxmere. As with Molinar, he was of Nati Kahung Anu extraction. Aftermath, Molinar continues to have supporters in Napier, particularly those impressed by his anti-gang stance. His tangi at Rua Happier Marau and funeral were well attended. Sneeze Tangi was at Ta Kopia Marau and his funeral in Napier's Municipal Theatre. Molinar's partner Darwin Ishmaili O'Keefe, a convicted drug dealer, has received $10,000 of ACC compensation because Molinar committed suicide. A restraining order has been issued against the house the two lived in and more than $90,000 in cash and bank accounts so the assets can be forfeited to the Crown once she is sentenced on the drug charges. She disputes accounts by others of the siege, saying Lenny Holmwood, who attempted to wrestle the gun from Molinar, and is believed by police to have saved the lives of their two wounded officers, did not do so. Holmwood has been recognised by the New Zealand Herald as its 2009 New Zealander of the Year for his heroism in saving Miller and Diver. In 2011, Holmwood, two other civilians, ten police officers and a paramedic received bravery medals for their actions during the shootings.